I thought the men uh, were pretty good. Uh, they, they took advantage of the kind of the one last uh, official race opportunity to, to go out and lay it out on the line. And they were really just competing against themselves. Um, so it wasn't a super competitive uh, environment, but they still found ways that we had a lot of guys set personal records on what was a windy day and maybe a tougher day than we expected. On the women's side, um, it was a good opportunity for them, but I do think that because most of them were either freshmen or sophomores, they let their youth and kind of inexperience of, of racing kind of show a lot. So I think Northern put six in front of our first, and while Northern may have still won that race, um, it probably shouldn't have been by that much. So I was a little disappointed in kind of the efforts and the overall expectations that they had for themselves. So it's very, it was a very similar feeling um, to the weekend before that I had with the men's team down in Chicago. So um, it just means that as coaches, we got to make sure that we're addressing everyone as equals and making sure that our message is getting across from first to last on, on the team. So um, again, good conversations with them. So I doubt that they'll ever let that happen again. <laughs> You know, I think for the women have quite the, the progression of their season. And I think the, what all the struggles that we've had earlier are kind of leading us towards these championship meets now. And we're, we're trending in the right direction. They're, they're relating better to one another in practice. They're understanding why we do things in practice and how to think and how to approach certain situations. So they definitely want to finish in the top two as they, as they did last year. And that was our preseason ranking, not that that mean, means much. But I think they're ready to show that they're back to, to being a, a top team in the country, let alone the conference. So on the men's side, we haven't been shy about what we've been trying to do. Um, they haven't raced since the GREAC meet, so they're, they're hungry to race again. They're excited. They're healthy. They're motivated as all heck. So I think you know, once we get to the line, we have nothing to lose. Right? Grand Valley's men have won this thing for 17 years in a row. We've never won it. We've never even been second. So we're going to go out there and, and put our best effort forward to try to win the whole thing. Um, because even if we fall short, it's probably still going to be the best result that we've ever had. So we're not, we're not afraid of anything. We're not afraid of risk taking. Um, we're not afraid of the pressure um, because we're ready for it and we're, we've prepared for it appropriately. So. I think physically it doesn't change, right? We, we stick to our training philosophy as coaches, uh, but there, there is a different mental prep, and, and we've done that in, in our workouts, where we've stopped workouts to give them time to try to create the most you know, vivid image that they can of race day. So any situation that they come across in the race, they've already dealt with mentally. Um, so I would say there's a little bit more of a shift to the mental side of racing now because we've trained for this long, very few people are actually getting better physically. It's kind of maintaining our physical uh, ability and making sure that we're making progress mentally come race day. So uh, I'm glad they don't see that difference, um, but it's definitely there as coaches in, in kind of the situations that we put them in.